Hi, this is Patrice from Audio Excellence. I would like to talk to you about digital crossovers. Typically, um, you have two ways of doing crossovers in a loudspeaker. There is a passive crossover, which is the most economic way, and you have the most performing way, which is using a digital crossover and feeding each low-pass and high-pass channels to a separate power amplifier. To derive from a general signal a high-pass and a low-pass channel, you need a unit like this. This is a DSP48. 48. 48 means 4 inputs, 8 outputs. We also have a DSP24 and a DSP36. I'll let you guess how many channels there are in each of these. So, um, all the outputs receive an input signal from one input channel or more. This can be routed and added like you wish. The analog to digital inputs and the digital to analog outputs are all operating in 24 bits, 96 kilohertz, which is the best available standard at the moment. Internal processing is 32 bits and 192 kilohertz. Now you can control this unit via a USB port at the front. So you can use your PC to define the settings. Once the settings are done, they can be recorded in various memories according to the setup of your sound system. You've got also some RS485 ports at the rear, two of them, and a voltage selection. Inputs and outputs are all balanced and connectors are of the XLR type. This little unit is really the magic tool to set up your complete system. It can handle by and pick your three front loudspeakers, plus managing the bass, the LFE. If you want to know more about our products and especially this nice DSP processor, just visit our website at www.audio-excellence.net. Thank you for listening.